Kia ora, Josan, ko Kay Webster Takaungawa. My name's Kay Webster and I'm one of the priests here at St Paul's Cathedral of Wellington. What a pleasure it is to join with you as we say morning prayer together. Uh, today we are using a New Zealand prayer book, He Karakia Mehinare O Aotearoa, and we're using the daily devotions that are starting on page nine, uh, sorry, 109. If you have access to a prayer book, feel free to uh, utilise that so that we can say the responses together. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just sit, let the words wash over you. Take the opportunity to hear the word of God, to pray, to invite the scriptures and the voice of God to both challenge you and support you in your day. Hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Kia tapu tu ingoa, kia runga ki te whenua, kia riti anō ki tō tarangi. Always be joyful. Pray continually, give thanks whatever happens. A Gospel Reflection Hear Jesus' words. When you do a kindness, hide from your left hand what your right hand is doing. Your good deed must be in secret. When you pray, pray privately, alone. When you fast, don't make a great show of it. Don't do it to be seen, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Would any of you who are parents give your child a wetter when they ask for a fish? Bad as you are, you know what, you're, what to give your children. How much more will the Heavenly Father give to those who ask? Believe what Jesus says. God is generous. God is good. At a far now, let us love one another because God is from love. We love because God first loves us. And everyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. If we do not love the people we have seen, it cannot be that we love God whom we have not seen. God is love. And those who dwell in love and dwell in God and God in them. Uh, today we are reading Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Those who forgive all your iniquities, who heal all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with the steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord's work vindicates, sorry, the Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a child has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made, and he remembers that we were dust. As for mortals, these days are like grass, they flourish like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children. To those who keep his covenants and remember his commands, the Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all the earth. Bless the Lord, O you, o you his angels, the one, sorry, 
you mighty ones who do his bidding, obedient to his spoken word. Bless the Lord, all you hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, and in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And today we are continuing to read through Luke. We're picking up at Luke chapter 2. And we're going to start at verse 41 and read to the end of the chapter. Luke chapter 2, verse 41. Now, every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended, they started to return. The boy, Jesus, stayed behind in, the, in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know this. Assuming that he was in the group of travellers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him amongst their relatives and friends, and when they did not find him, they turned, returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple sitting amongst the teachers and listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I would be in my father's house? but they did not understand what he had said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart and Jesus increased in wisdom and in years and in human and divine favour. Let us spend some time in prayer. Loving God, we pray for teenagers, for the people that are in such times of transition, of ceasing to be children but not yet adults. We pray for the parents of teenagers, for parents who live with anxiety, for parents who are not completely sure where their children are parents that are working hard but who are broken hearted loving God we pray for travellers for those that are, so, that are somewhere other than where they call home for those that are travelling for work to visit extended family or for pleasure to realise that the world is bigger than the experience of their hometown. We pray for those that work to support those that travel, for those that work in airlines and are just seeing the end of COVID lockdowns and the changes to their industry. We pray for those that work in cafes and hotels, for those that work on tourist boats and bungee jumping, for everything that supports those who are travelling. And we pray for the people that attend festivals. Again, for the workers who have experienced such a small number of big events. For those that run food carts. For those that play music. For those that offer security that keeps people safe. For the people that clean the toilets and put up tents. And we pray for the city of Jerusalem.
Passover and Ramadan are complete, Easter is about halfway through its season. We pray for all people that see Jerusalem as a holy city. We pray for peace in the land of Israel, Palestine. And we pray for ourselves. Loving God, free us from anxieties. Draw us close to you so that we may say, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless your holy name. And may we be your hands and your feet, servants of your kingdom, we pray. So many books. Our Father, hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Eto mato matua ki tapu tungua, ki runga ki tfenua, ki ariti ano ki totarangi. Holy One, holy and eternal, awesome, exciting and delightful in your holiness. Make us pure in heart to see you. Make us merciful to receive your kindness and to share our love with all our human family. Then will your name be hallowed on earth as in heaven. Lord God, when you give to us your servant any great matter to do, grant us also to know that it is not the beginning but the continuing of it until it is thoroughly finished which re yields the true glory. God of work and rest and pleasure. Grant that what me, we do this week may be for an offer be. Grant that what we do this week may be for us an offering rather than a burden, and for those we serve may it be the help they need. Amen. Kakitiano.